The next grouping of functions that we're going to discuss is min and max. And I like to think of these two as brother and sister. They typically are work, work together. So min finds the minimum value within a range of cells, and max finds the maximum value within a range of cells. So if we go through the functions that we've already covered and look at those, we've done sum, we've done average, and here at the bottom of the screen are min and max. And min and max are a little bit different than the other two functions that we've done so far. Sum as well as average have only had one argument in them. Remember, we only had one range of cells that we were looking at. However, when we move forward in this video and perform the min and max functions, we're going to be looking at two different arguments. Okay, we're going to be looking at the range of cells in our residual marketing as well as the range of cells in our promotional marketing. So when you have a function that has multiple arguments, we have to separate them with a comma. We're going to go to our spreadsheet now, our marketing budget spreadsheet that we've been working with for the last couple of exercises, and we're going to make B26 our active cell. So a quick refresher to get to an active cell, we can come up here in our name box and type B26, and it will take us to that cell, or you can just take your mouse and click on that cell directly. So as B26 is our active cell, we're going to come up here on our home ribbon, the last editing group, we're going to drop it down and we're going to choose min. Okay. And Excel thinks that we're going to find the minimum value between our average and promotional uh, marketing, but that's not correct. We're going to take our mouse and we're going to go up to cell B3, left click and drag all the way over to M6. We're going to hit a comma on our keyboard. We're going to now take our mouse and select the range of B12 all the way over to M13. And this is somewhat similar to when we were doing formulas. And remember, we had multiple cells that were involved in a formula, and they were multiple colors. Well, here, when you have a function and it has two different arguments, the arguments are different colors. The argument involving B3 through M6 is blue, and the argument involving cells B12 through M13 is, we'll call that red. So we have the range selected and we hit enter. So Excel returns that the minimum amount that we spend in those two range of cells, in our residual marketing as well as in our promotional marketing, is $150 we're going to make cell B26 our active cell, which it is already, and we're going to come back up in our home group, or home ribbon, go to the last group, which is editing, drop it down, and this time, instead of choosing min, we're going to choose max. So we're going to find the maximum value. How much is the largest amount that I'm going to spend? Once again, the same exact range that we used for min, we're going to highlight the cell range of B3 through M6, hit the comma on our keyboard, and now come over here and select the range of cells from B12 all the way over to M13. You can see that you get the exact same color coding that we did previously, and we hit the Enter key. So the minimum amount that we're spending in advertising is $150 a month, and the maximum amount for any one advertising source that we're spending is $2,500.